In this video, I want to very quickly talk about manual queries when writing tests. I hope it is clear that React testing library provides three types of queries. Get by and get all by, query by and query all by, and finally, find by and find all by. Please refer to the previous few videos to understand more about each of them. Let me tell you, on top of these queries provided by the testing library, it is also possible to write manual queries. By that, I mean to say, you can use the regular query selector DOM API to find elements. For example, here we've used query selector with data foo attribute equal to bar, a random attribute and value. Although this works, I would like to highlight that using query selector to query by class, ID, etc. is not recommended because those attributes are invisible to the user. You should always try to query using the three query types provided by React Testing Library. As beginners, it is quite common to think why we should not use Query Selector DOM API, and I hope this quick video has given you the answer. The information is present in the docs, and I merely wanted to bring it to your attention. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.